Hi, this is Samantha with Walk Down Memory Lane. Today I'm going to show you how to emboss with more than one color. On this Get Well card, I've got two colors, the orange and the green. And on this little tag for this cute little button tube, it has orange, red, and green. You're going to need some sort of paper. I'm going to use the craft just so hopefully it shows up well today. I'm going to, you'll need a stamp that's kind of detailed. I'm using this one from Stampendous. It is the Agapanthus stamp that I can never say quite properly. There will be a supply list at the end of this so you can find it if you want it. I'm going to mount this on a rock -a block uh, The reason I'm using a rock -a block today this style of block is just because it's the biggest one I have. And this is a fairly large stamp. And you'll need some embossing ink. This is Versamark. It's just a clear, nice wet ink that's going to hold your embossing powder. Tim Holtz is making a new embossing ink that we've been switching over to at the store. It's Tim Holtz Embossing Ink is the name of it um, that he makes with Ranger. I just am waiting for this pad to dry up before I switch over to that because that one's been getting really good reviews as well. Oh, and I forgot to show you our embossing powder today. I'm using American Crafts Zing Embossing Powder, which is on sale this month for 25% off with all the American Crafts stuff. Uh, Zing Embossing Powder, down in the corner here, it'll tell you the color. Because some of them it'll be a little tricky, the clear looks a lot like the white, so you're going to want to look... Um, down here for your color and then next to that is the type of finish. This is a clear finish You'll see some that are opaque finishes some that are glitter finishes and that'll give you a clue as to what the finish is on it as well I'm actually not using the clear today, but the uh, sticker on this one shows up nicely for the video So that's American Graphs Zing embossing powder comes in lots of different colors and finishes today. I'm using all opaque finishes You're going to ink your stamp with your nice wet ink Stamp doesn't seem to want to cling too well today. Stamp your paper. And then you can set your stamp off to the side. Now while your ink's kind of wet, you're going to want to work fairly quickly. I'm going to show you how to do this with three different colors today. It, same principle works if you're going to do two colors instead of three. I like to pour it into my hand a little bit. It makes it easier for me to grab and sprinkle. I'm going to start in the center a little bit on these. And I'm just going to sprinkle. Hopefully you can see that. I'm trying to move fairly quickly before my ink dries too much. Okay, and then I'm going to just dust off what's left onto a little extra piece there. And I'm going to, I like to use paper plates at this point, and I'll explain that after I get these on. So I've got a little bit of orange. Let me grab me another paper plate quick. I'm a paper plate short here, so we'll see. <laughs> I'm going to use the red now. I'm going to go to the outside of my stamp. I can kind of see where my colors are. So I'm just going to go where my stamp image is. I'm just going to go to the outside of it there. And we got a little construction noise in the background from across the street. Sorry about that. My mom is shutting the door for me. <laughs> Again, I'm going to just take off what I don't want there. And then... I'm going to do the same thing with a little bit of the green powder. Now the green powder I don't have to be quite as careful with because that's going to go everywhere that isn't covered. And I'm just going to dump the green on. Hopefully we'll get it nicely on those stems there. So I just sort of started from the center and worked my way out. And now you can kind of see I've got green, got a little bit of orange popped in the center of a few of those, and then red on the outside. Then you'll take your embossing gun.
It usually doesn't take quite that long, but my embossing powder or my embossing gun just barely reaches from my outlet there. So as you can see, that's how you get more than one color and get sort of a, a technicolor on there. Like I said, there's orange in the center there, a little bit of red on the outside and green. I did the same thing here, just with two colors. So I sprinkled the green on just the heads of the flowers, exact same stamp on that one, and then filled in with the green. Your lines aren't gonna be perfect. You can see I have a little bit of green up into the flower head here, a little bit of orange down onto the stem, but it gives it some character and a little bit of vintage feel that way. And I'll show you one other three color one. This is a little bit of orange in the center, then red goes out, orange on the outside here, and green on the stem there. When you're all done, you've got these plates full of embossing powder and you can just fold them up like a taco and dump them back into your container so you can re continue to reuse your embossing powders till they're all gone. Like I said, you'll see a whole list at the end of this with all the supplies used on these two projects in case you want to know the exact name so you can pick them up for yourself.